Okay, so this video is going to go over a demonstration of the EA. Um, I've made a few changes uh, to the EA this weekend. Um, I've gotten rid of the trailing stop. Well, I haven't gotten rid of it. I've just put it on the sidelines, uh, set to false, and I'm not going to be using the trailing as I'm getting out of uh, too many positions or because I'm trailing up too soon. Uh, I'm getting stopped out too early, taking a loss um, before it runs up to where I want it to go. So what we're going to do is uh, put the trailing stop on the sidelines. Um, I'm going to show you the demonstration of the EA. Uh, this is for the New Zealand USD. And this was uh, a week ago, the Friday it ended on. So we're going to use this bar here. And uh, this was the Sunday, so it was the beginning of last week, which is March 10th. So we're going to go with this um, candle here to the upside. In the strategy tester, I'm just going to show you the pullback strategy and the breakout strategy. Um, and obviously, we're heading up to this target. This is what we want to aim for. Um, and we'll show you how the take profit is set and whatnot as well. Uh, but I just want to show you that the candle in strategy tester is going to be based off this one. Um, I could have easily based it off of this one on the Sunday. Uh, and you'll see when I do some videos this weekend, uh, tomorrow night, for the beginning of the week session, how I'll be setting it up. I'll do a YouTube video based on that as well. But uh, for strategy tester, I just want to show you how this strategy is working on this, how the EA is working. Um, I've added this in into the daily uh, script so that it gives you the target now. And uh, we'll move over to the one hour. And you can see I've already labeled the prices here. And we're going to need this for the EA, which I've already demonstrated in previous videos. Uh, we can go to the expert properties. And you're going to see I added in a couple things. Um, the Take profit one to one. We're not going to go over. I'm probably going to take this out anyways. Um, it makes more sense for the strategy that I'm uh, doing right now. Okay, so this video I'm going to be going over demonstrating the EA. Um, I've made some changes. I've added a breakout strategy within this, um, so it does take pullbacks and it also will do the uh, breakout. Um, I've also added in a target as well into the script and uh, I'll go over in the instructional video on setting up the EA when you first put it on the pair um, how to do your support and resistance using the script also how to do your um, your candle using the script uh, so I've got a good detailed video explaining the, the top-down approach and then setting up the EA what uh, to set as your zones and also um, what the best settings are for the EA um, that I do on each pair. So um, that's the bit of a legwork that you're going to have to do on a daily basis. Obviously, you set your support and resistance on the weekly, and you do that once a week. And then uh, on the daily basis, at the very beginning of the new day, you just go over each pair that you've got the EA running on and just uh, make sure that there hasn't been any changes to the EA. Um, I'll be doing videos on a daily basis based on that anyways uh, for people that have the EA uh, just to give them a little bit of help uh, but let's just go over um, besides the breakout strategy that I put into the EA and the pullback I've gotten rid of the trailing stop I still have the settings in the, the EA but I've got it set to false so I'm not going to trail the position anymore um, I might do that manually but each bar is an hour anyway, so you got more than enough time. If it doesn't stop you out and it rallies up and starts to turn over, you can set it to break even your trade or whatnot uh, yourself. Um, I've noticed that on the trailing, I'm getting stopped out way too much on good trades. So well, we're getting rid of that. Uh, and uh, I've set that to false this, uh, in this EA. So um, what we're going to do... This is the beginning. It's New Zealand USD. This is the beginning of last week. This was the Friday. And then we have our Sunday bar here. So we're going to go based on that. I'm going to show you in the strategy tester quickly just to show you the EA and how it's going to work. Set the take profit. Uh, this demonstration will show you the breakout. It will also show you the pullback. 
and uh, I'll make it somewhat quick on the one hour. This is the chart you're going to have the EA running on after you got everything else set up. Uh, I've got my price labels here. As you can see, the top, the bottom, and the TP. Now we go into our expert properties. And uh, the only thing I'm going to change here is uh, we've got the lot set. For this demonstration, I've got $1,000 in it. I've got the lot set to 0.1. I've got it set to take longs only because that's what we're looking for. You can see I've got the using trailing stop set to false. We're not going to do the trailing stop anymore. We've got the top line is set to 68096. Six eight zero nine six, and then we've got our bottom line at six seven five two five. Okay, and then we're going to have our target at zero point six eight six six five. Okay, you can just double check these numbers, and then you're going to be looking for the long breakouts. You don't have to do the breakout trades. Um, I'm going to be doing them. I like them. But, so I'm sticking to the uh, set this to true. Uh, and that is it within the EA. So these are the main settings that you've got is right in the middle here. We're going to hit OK. Now we're just going to hit Start. And I'm going to hit the template here at default. And as you can see, these green line and the red line. This is our top line, our bottom line, and this is our take profit line. I've already set it up. So you can visually see in Strategy Tester where they are. Uh, this is our Friday bullish candle. So we're looking for the pullbacks within this zone. If we're given a higher, um, a green candle with a higher, high, higher low, we're going to get into the trade or set a buy stop. And then when we break out, we're going to set a buy stop as well. So you'll see that. We'll just increase this a little bit. Okay, so there's our first trade here. We've got our pullback. It's set it up. We're in the trade. We're just going to wait tight. There's no more trailing. Normally on the close of this, if it's green, it would trail up into here. Uh, but it's going to stay, the stop loss is going to stay where it's at. And it's either going to move up towards our target. We can uh, just see that our take profit is up here. So we've got a really good risk reward. We're risking about 10 pips for a potential of uh, 60 pips. Okay, so the risk reward is really good. Looking at a 1 to 6. Now we're just going to speed this up again. Now we're going to demonstrate this. That here's the example of the breakout. We've pulled back in and we broke out here. So we set our buy stop. Now we're in here. Now what I would want to be doing, because we're in two trades, they're both working out pretty decent. And this one's hit the, uh, the first target of this, of this candle in the one hour. So I'd probably get out of this if I woke up, whether I'm sleeping or not, or if I'm watching the trade. Because I'm in two already, I would exit this one and uh, take the profits where it's at. And that would pay for the stop loss on this first trade down here. Keep the first trade. We're in it. It's really good. Get rid of this secondary one. Don't need to be in a bunch of trades. And then it's... Uh, covered the cost of this stop if it happened to turn over come crashing back down into this can daily candle then fine now what we're going to do is just kind of speed this up and you can see and this is these are one hour candles this didn't happen within an hour or two this happened within a day or two 
So we've got a new day here, pushing to the upside. Uh, and this is on the weekly. Beginning of the week. So we're probably looking around Tuesday evening now, that this is around. And go, that's on the 12th. And we started on the 11th there. So we're looking, this is a full day. So we could be getting out. Or maybe move it to break even. Put your stop just under here, lock in. Whatever you want to do manually or just let it be. Here we go. Let it move a little bit more. It will come down. And we'll pause that. So this is what happened last week on the New Zealand USD. Got in on the pullback, got in on the breakout. Our target's up into here, sets our target automatically. Hit the target, it hit that area, and then dropped down. Came back, retested, and then dropped right down to the high of the beginning of the week. So, there's the EA in a nutshell, and uh, how to set it up. I will have a detailed instructional video on setting it up on each pair. Uh, it's very, very simple on doing the setup. And uh, I've done a lot of analysis on the breakout, so I really liked it and wanted to add it because I've noticed I've been missing out a few uh, out on a few trades. So that's it, and uh, hopefully you like it. I'll be sending out the updated version of the EA within the next day before um, tomorrow's uh, open to everybody that has it. Um, and that way you have the uh, instructional video that's detailed using the new EA and everything for the beginning of the week. And uh, I'll make a YouTube video tomorrow for the pairs that I'm putting it on. And we'll talk to you later.